Hey kindergartners, it's Mrs. Murphy. It's time for math. This week in math, you've been learning all about joining groups together to show addition. But it's time I let you in on a little secret. Are you ready for it? Come close. Mathematicians like shortcuts. You heard that right. Mathematicians don't like things to take a long time. And they, they kind of think that writing addition sentences takes way too long. So today, I'm going to teach you all about the symbol called the plus sign. This is a symbol that mathematicians use so that they don't have to write the whole addition sentence. This is actually the start of learning how to write equations. Let's get started. To look at an addition story. I have four crayons. My friend Riley gives me two more crayons. How many crayons do I have in all? What do you need to do to solve this problem? You're right, we need to count all the crayons. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many crayons in all? That's right, six. But the purpose of today's lesson is to focus on using the plus sign. Usually, we would start writing an addition sentence. First, we would write the number four to show the four crayons I started with. Then, we would write the number two to show how many Riley let me have. Then, I would need a word to join these two numbers. Do you remember what word it is? If you said, and, kiss your brain. I have four and two. But remember what I said, mathematicians like shortcuts. The word and might be three little letters, but that's too long for them. We're going to start using the plus sign. The plus sign is a joining symbol. It means the same thing as and. Now all I have to do is fill in the numbers four and two. So now it reads four plus two. Can you read it with me? Ready? Four plus two. Great job. See if you can help me with this next problem. I have some counters. How many red counters do I have? You're right. I have three red counters. How many yellow counters do I have? Right again, I have four yellow counters. Now remember, I usually join these numbers with the word and, but we're mathematicians and we like shortcuts. What symbol could we use to join the numbers? If you said plus sign, kiss your brain. Great job. Now that you've learned how to use one of my favorite shortcuts, the plus sign, it's time for your assignment. In today's assignment, you're going to be using the plus sign to join groups. When you're done, see if you can read the number sentences. Thanks for learning with me. Bye, everybody.